So I wanted to just quickly talk about this quote-unquote direct leak coming around. I've been seeing it on Instagram and Twitter a lot lately. And basically this leak is just saying that there's going to be a direct on April 8th. And I want to break this down and show everyone why if you were believing this, you are dead wrong. And to never believe a leak from 4chan. So let's just start with this. So up top we see that Zelda Breath of the Wild 2 is going to be revealed and called the Second Breath. I really hope Nintendo can name their games a little better than that. Oh wait, they can, this is fake. So, next part, a Legend of Zelda collection, which I honestly hope could happen, but most likely not, seeing how Skyward Sword is going to be its own thing and cost more than the original game cost on a Wii. So, next up we have a remake of the first three Zelda games that are going to end up looking like uh, Link's Awakening. Uh, this would be cool, except that's obvious, the whole Link's Awakening art style is going to be its own thing, and it's not going to be repeated over and over again. With how much division there was over that game style, I really don't think they're ever going to do that one again. Metroid Prime 4 is going to come out in 2022, which honestly I can legitimately see happening. Only thing I could see later is 2023, since they restarted development on the game back in like 2019, 2018. So that's not super far-fetched, although that's like, that's kind of an infinite monkey theorem kind of thing where if you throw enough things at the wall, eventually you'll get something right. And the whole timeline for Metroid Prime 4 kind of lines up correctly, but regardless of that, the next thing is the release of the Metroid Trilogy, which honestly, we've been saying that this will come out since, like, the Switch came out. So I really can't see this actually coming out, and I know that's gonna be like, what, what, they, they've had the trilogy come out on like two consoles now. Exactly, it's already come to like two consoles. I really don't think Nintendo is going to do it again. I don't think enough people realize this. The third definitely not going to happen thing is an update to Mario Maker 2, which adds like Bowser's Fury 3D world assets to make things. So like, Nintendo is not going to let us build our own 3D Marios. There'd be no more profitability left for Nintendo to make money off 3D Mario. They've already realized that making Mario Maker 2 and 1 was a good idea because it's getting harder and harder to sell 2D Marios. They're not going to let go of 3D Mario so easily. Mario Odyssey DLC is definitely not going to happen because if it was going to happen, it would have happened already. And they have given free updates to Mario Odyssey before. Like, they're, they're not going to add a paid DLC to Mario Odyssey like three or four years after it's come out. Like, they're doing the Splatoon 3 right now, they're not going to add DLC to a game that's already like 4 years old, they're just going to make a new one. Probably the most unlikely thing here is the announcement for the Game Pass, playable on Switch, which has iconic Switch games like Mario and Zelda Breath of the Wild, and so on, available. If you don't know what Game Pass is, it's for the Xbox, and it's basically where you pay a monthly fee and Microsoft lets you play a ton of uh, Xbox games. Some are third party, all of their first party games are on there, and he's saying that there's going to be a Nintendo version of this. Homie, if Nintendo is killing off Mario in like 10 days, oh sorry, two days, what am I saying? Yeah, if Nintendo is like publicly executing Mario in like two days, what on earth makes you think that Nintendo is going to let us play all of their games for a monthly fee? Nuh uh. They're making us pay $20 for failed online. You really think they're gonna give us a good online product? Yeah, I don't think so. Finally, the one I wanna talk about the most is what he says about Splatoon 3. So in this segment he gives on Splatoon 3, new story mode, you are a member of Team Order and you will need to rebuild the old square from Splatoon 2, helped by Marina. New maps, weapons, ability showcase. So let's just break down how awful of an idea this is for the story. Like, in Splatoon 2, we don't see team, like, Callie going to rescue Callie, it's just Agent 4. Like, Team Order is a thing for a Splatfest. It is gone, it is over. We are not going to get a reference of Team Order, and if it does, I will put water in my shoes and wear them around all day. That's a promise. Two, what on earth does having to rebuild the old square from Inkopolis Square have to do with anything? Like. Seriously, what what are we what are we accomplishing here? Like, congratulations, you have rebuilt the square. You have saved order, and the day is safe. What what? And 
what does the small fry have to do with anything? Like, it's so freaking obvious what Nintendo is going to do with the story. Like, it's hitting everyone right in the face. This is going to be something with Salmonoids. And this direct leak has nothing to do with Salmonoids. So, it's painfully, blatantly obvious just how fake this is and how unaware of Splatoon this user is trying to be while they're trying to give, like, so much detail on what the story will be about. It's, it's, it's pathetically done. It's literally just the textbook definition of another 4chan leak. And the only reason I'm making this video is for this segment right here on how I'm going to teach you how to spot a real direct leak like I did. This Twitter user right here, PH Brazil. I'm not going to try to pronounce the app. You can see it right there. Follow this dude on Twitter. This guy called the leak of Splatoon 3. He called it. He knew about it before anyone else did. If you want actual information on when you are going to get info on what's going to come up in a direct, this is the dude to follow. Follow this dude. 100%. I am telling you, he has not been wrong yet. He called Splatoon 3 when no one thought it was going to happen. This dude is the guy you want to follow if you want any up-to-date information. I swear to you, this man called it perfectly. Remember when Splatoon fans were all saying that we're going to get a Splatoon 3 and then everyone else was saying no, no we're not. And this guy comes around saying we're going to get Splatoon 3 and no one really believed him. And then suddenly, boom, Splatoon 3. This is the guy. This is the guy you are going to want to follow if you want up-to-date information on if something is going to come to a direct. Or he doesn't exactly say when the direct's going to happen, but he has not posted around a time where it's not going to happen. I'm telling you. This is the guy who called Splatoon 3. You should follow him if you want up-to-date information on nearby direct dates and what games are going to be in them. But anyways, that is it from me. Quick little update real quick. If you haven't seen the Splatoon lore timeline, here it is right here. Go watch it. I put a lot of hard work into it and so did all my editors. They all did a really good job. There was a ton of effort put into this. Um... Yeah, pretty much, uh, Twitter somehow good in this situation, 4chan bad as always, never believe 4chan leaks, they are always wrong, I've never seen a 4chan leak actually be right, uh, if you're new here, click like and subscribe, if you've been here for a while and you really like the content, consider becoming a channel member, it really helps out a lot, but uh, yeah, that's it for me, I will see you gamers later.